Hello. When we first started Cranky Horse Swivels, our primary goals were to make the swivel affordable, but also versatile. We all know the feeling of really wanting something, but it always seems to be out of a price range. That's what we wanted to eliminate. That's what we did. We have substantial overhead in the making of one of our swivels. And to be honest with you, our profit margin is minimal. But we understand the necessity of it to horses and the benefits to horse owners. And that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, our reward is when we receive the positive comments and testimonies from people all over the world sharing the impact the Cranky Horse Swivel has made to them. Installing the Cranky Horse Swivel will require a little bit of time and a little bit of muscle. But I promise you, it's going to be worth it to you and especially to your horse. Now let's get to it and I will share with you just how easy it is to become a believer in the Cranky Horse Swivel. To start off, there are three ways that you can install the Cranky Horse Swivel, but they all have two things in common. Number one, they will all require a four foot hole. That's where the little bit of muscle begins. And then number two, they all require 12 foot in length. The three options of installation are a metal post, telephone pole or utility pole, six by six square treated post. Any one of these options will work, but the steps for each individual application must be completed. If you're going to use a metal post, whether it's a square one or a round one, make sure that the wall thickness is a minimum of an eighth of an inch. We recommend using a four by four post with a five by five and a quarter inch plate insert on the top as a platform. This will provide plenty of room for the swivel to be welded onto the platform and give optimal performance. We have the quarter inch metal plate for sale in our online store at www.crankyhorse.com. So, and this is what it looks like. It's just your five inch by five inch, a quarter inch plate. It's already been cut and ready. And here's your metal post right here. And then all you do is stick it on there just like that, weld it, and then you can put your cranky horse swivel on top, weld it, and you're ready to rock. Number two, telephone or utility pole. This is a great choice because of their durability. Plus, they're easily found. You can find them on Craigslist, List, Marketplace on Facebook. Those are great places to find them. When going to pick up your pole, though, it is best you take a chainsaw with you, or sometimes the seller may have one there that you can use to cut the length that you need. All telephone poles are tapered, so begin cutting at the preferred diameter for mounting the swivel, which is roughly six to nine inches. That's at the small end of it of the uh, pole. After making the first cut, just measure down 12 feet, cut it, and you got it. Usually these poles cost anywhere from about a dollar to two dollars a foot, so for the price you just can't go wrong, but be prepared, they're heavy, so take someone along to help with loading. You can purchase a 6x6 six six pressure treated square post from any Lowe's, Home Depot, or your nearest lumber yard. If you choose a 6x6 six six pressure treated wood post, we highly recommend installing it using a post protector. Because of the chemical preservatives that are used in treating the post, what they are is they're pesticides and they're designed specifically just to, to invent the wood fiber so it becomes an unsuitable force for anything that's going to deteriorate the wood. The post protector eliminates soil to post contact which prevents soil fungi from reaching the post. See, because of the EPA, weaker chemicals are being used today in the treating process of lumber. That greatly reduces their contact to ground lifespan. But with the addition of the post protector, it will create a barrier from the wood-eating organisms, fungi, the termites, anything that's going to cause the disintegration of the wood. We have a fantastic video on our website that explains all of this. And for further information, you can go to postprotector.com for all your questions and concerns. Before you put your metal post in the ground, it is imperative that you prime and paint it first. And please, be sure to apply a preservative or sealer to your 6x6 wooden post. Anything that is exposed to atmospheric organisms and elements needs all the protection and maintenance it can get. Always inspect your metal post for rust and your wood post for any cracks and splits so repairs can be made in order to keep the integrity of your post and for the safety of your horse.